Hi Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 16th to the 22nd of November. Please pop down to the box below and have a look at the link for the candles I'm now using. The campfire, this one is by Mellow Glow Candles. Handmade in the UK. Absolutely beautiful. So let's start with your energy card the Scorpio. time to come out didn't it autumnal equinox release Scorpio so darlings let's get your reading underway started your what the fuck mm. facing your fears and taking your fucking power back your manifestation, wish fulfillment, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. do about the situation that's what's out of your hands oh god they're flying out the Scorpio you're in a bit of a bloody hurry to get this reading underway aren't you And then your outcome, lovelies. So darling, what started you? What the fuck? I'm getting that you stood in your power. You knew what you wanted. You drew energy down from the universe or somewhere. Made this magic happen. Somebody been whispering in your ear about whether you should or you shouldn't and facing your fears and taking your power back you've clearly said you should because you have got the nine of pentacles this is a wish fulfillment card this is you getting your heart's desire this is you looking into that crystal ball and seeing your future with some clarity now your manifestation is your manifesting the harvest i'm getting that you've sown seeds over many years and now you want to see the harvest of those however look at the smaller harvest i'm i'm guessing that you will start seeing smaller harvests much quicker much easier and don't discount the smaller wishes that you had many moons ago because i'm getting that the harvests are coming in for you and although you're manifesting the bigger harvests and that's really positive the smaller harvests are already with you. So Scorpio, oh my gosh. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You have the yes card, you've got the world tree. This is the, the roots are deep down into the earth. You are going to explain night and day, all seasons. You've got the serpent for luck. And my darlings, this yes card in particular is just saying reach out reach out because it's a yes go for it just just absolutely whatever it is you're doing just fucking go for it because your foundation is strong you are really reaching out to to get all four seasons to get night and day all four corners of the earth is what i'm hearing and then that has got with it the other yes card in the deck on your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, you've got the two best cards in the deck. 
you've got the sun card this is another yes card this is whatever you do whatever you touch you've got the Midas touch Scorpio fucking it I want to be with you this week Scorpio what on earth so darlings what the fuck you can do about the situation just enjoy it you've got the Lord and the Lady this is a partnership this is a decision around a couple normally but I distinctly heard them say, just enjoy. Reap what you've sown. You've sown so much, Scorpio. And I'm getting that you are with somebody that you adore, you worship and adore, and you are able to celebrate. You are able just to go with the flow of it and just enjoy this moment because this does not come along very often. And when it does, some people completely miss it but I'm getting that you're really geared up and excited about this happening. Now, what's being lifted out of your energy? You've got the seven of chalices is being lifted out of the way because people are having their say about your choices and the universe is saying, uh-uh, no. You've also got a fire sign that maybe, instead of making magic for you, may be making mischief. And then right in behind that, you've got the Earth Mother as well. This could be two mums or two dads. Um, I'm getting that they're, they're going to back off. They're not going to have their say about this any longer. They're going to back off. This could be mums, dads. This could be wives, husbands, male or female. You've got one that is a fire energy who understands desire, and you've got the other one who's the earth energy, who understands stability. On the other hand of those, when they are coming in and they're being lifted away from you, maybe they're going to take a step back. Perhaps the fire sign has already waved that magic wand for you, but they're twitching because you haven't quite done what they thought you were going to do, um, and they're having their fucking say about it. I think they're going to shut up. The Earth Mother, the Earth Energy, I'm getting that she will gracefully just sit back anyway. She's not going to say, I said so, like the fire sign will. She's not going to say to you, you need to do it this way, like the fire sign will, or you're going to get donked over the head with something. Um, but yeah, I'm getting that they are clearly, for the time being, going to back off a bit, male or female. But I am getting that they are parents. Of some description so when I say parents I yes they can be your blood parents they can be your adoptive parents they can be your foster parents they can be a friend's parents that you have um, been drawn to over your lifetime because they make more sense than your own parents it could be grandparents so just keep that energy in mind it is an energy it is not um, it's not a definitive mum or dad but I am getting that this is an older person. These are two older people than you. So reconnecting to your true self. You've got the ten of wands. This is a completion. This is you putting those fucking wands down. And telling people to carry their own fucking burdens for a change. Because you've looked at things from a different perspective. And you are respectfully walking away to your new life you're looking over your shoulder you respect where you come from you acknowledge where you come from but you are respectfully walking away to this new life after you've taken a new perspective right at the end you have got the moon the moon is asking you to allow it to illuminate a pathway forward for you it's asking you not to look at distortions but to look at the truth or the untruth of the matter and that will illuminate that for you. What stays in shadow doesn't need dealing with at the moment. It's the stuff that is illuminated that needs your attention, lovelies. So at the bottom of the deck, you have nature. Darling, I don't know why this has suddenly kicked in, but I'm getting that you... Perhaps you don't think you deserve all of this. This is self-limitation. This is trapping yourself. This is self restriction this is self-doubt so if that's something you're going through allow just trigger that trap and allow yourself to go and dance with that bear because he's looking at you so come on 
I want to go dance, I want to go dance, I want to go dance. Just enjoy the journey, lovelies. Enjoy it. And that's where the release comes in. Release the self-restriction. Release that self-doubt. Because right now, you're standing in the best power you have ever stood in Scorpio. The best power you have ever stood in. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Scorpio. 16th to the 22nd of November. Okay. So the first card that popped out was Autumn Release, the Old and Rest. And I reckon after all this partying, you're going to have to rest. Heart Guardian, is this what you're restricting yourself on, darlings? Love and let yourself be loved, sweethearts. Come on. Let that go. Let it go. It's no good. Shonen Master, be graceful in movement and action. And finally, you have the White Witch. Isn't she beautiful? Be the light. And I'm going to put that right above your two yeses. Darlings, that is your reading, 16th to the 22nd of November. No, I love and appreciate each and every one of you for being here on the journey with me, with angels and ancestors and lovelies, wherever you are in the world tonight, be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.